What's going on everyone? This is Matt, Squeaky Clean, Squeaky Clean Air. Um, how you guys doing? Everyone surviving the winter? I know Canada, we have minus six degrees today, so it's a decent uh, decent uh, weather to do a vlog. I have a heater in the garage, so it's not too, too bad. I, uh, it's, uh, I do work in warm, so it's okay, but uh, hopefully we get over this uh, winter soon. Um, today, I'm gonna focus on a question that I get asked on a regular basis, and that is, where do I get hard lines? Where do you get hard lines? How do you get hard lines? What are hard lines? Stay tuned. Okay, so essentially, you know when you're looking at uh, nice custom trunks and they all have hard line setups and um, you know, it looks nice and fancy. We have the compressors with hard lines. You have the little hard lines coming uh, from the 3P manifolds or, or digital manifolds, like squeaky clean air manifolds or any of the sort of air suspension manifolds going from compression fittings into the floors. Well, those are hard lines, but um, not, um, you know, they don't start out as beautiful as, uh, you know, you get them when you actually do them and you set up a, a trunk setup. Most of the time, hard lines come in spools like these. And all it is, is essentially brake line. Now, the most common um, size of brake line is 3 8 which is what this is, and it comes in a spool. Uh, this is uh, aluminum uh, brake line. Um, you can also get brake line in stainless steel as well. Obviously, stainless steel is a lot thicker and it's a lot more rigid. Aluminum is a lot easier to bend uh, and it's, of course, a lot cheaper. And you can also use copper. And this copper I got uh, from uh, Home Depot. I rarely actually do hard line setups with copper. Um, most of the stuff I do is with uh, aluminum brake line. And I do get them uh, in spools. You can, uh, you can purchase them from air suspension suppliers or various places, I guess, um, in straights. Uh, but most of them, they always start out as a spool. So I get my uh, hard line um, in spools and then I straighten it out. So here's an example of a straight that basically started as a spool and then, uh, and then I straightened it out. Um, here is stainless steel, um, or actually this is aluminum, sorry, this is aluminum and uh, it's thicker, harder aluminum, it's some kind of a coated aluminum, you know, they all, they all come in different uh, types, essentially, but essentially what you're looking for is when you're ordering hard line, when you want to learn how to bend and cut and do various things and experiment with it, it's brake line. you know, so for those guys hitting me up uh, on my air suspension, uh, you know, um, uh, Instagram, which is Squeaky Clean Air, asking me, oh man, where do I get my hard line? What are this, so some of the suppliers of the hard line? Well, all you got to do is you just got to find brake line. And what I like to use is I like to use 3 8 um, brake line. And uh, I buy mine in spools, S simple. You know, they all come in different types. Like this is super rigid brake line. It's a lot more rigid than this. I think both of them are aluminum. So basically just search around, go on Amazon, go in various places or even your local sort of, uh, you know, trucking suppliers and go find some brake line. So that pretty much covers the source of where you would get a uh, brake line. You can purchase straights <clears throat> from, uh, from suppliers. Straights usually come in uh, four foot lengths, uh, but it's probably a lot cheaper just to buy a spool and then uh, open it up and cut it and create your own straights that you can always use and sort of stair put them away. And, um, and it will just make it a lot easier and a lot more cost effective. On average, a spool like that ranges anywhere between $60, $70 uh, Canadian. 
Uh, you can probably find some cheaper ones as well, of course, depends on the suppliers. But on average, you're looking to pay about, you know, 70 bucks or so Canadian for a 25 foot spool of line. And uh, 25 feet of line is quite a lot. You can probably do uh, two trunks, depending how elaborate you want to do a hard line setup. And, um, and it's, uh, it's probably a good start for you to, um, to find these and uh, search it out. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much how you would get it. You would get it in a spool. Now, let's, uh, let's look on how to make this into a straight. Okay, so essentially this has been covered almost I think everywhere. If you guys do a search um, on YouTube in regards to uh, bending line and sort of like, um, you know, hard lines, I'm sure it's been covered. If not, um, I'll show you guys how to do it. Essentially when you take the spool, what you want to do is you want to go against the straight surface. So usually what I do is I do it on a table and then what I do is I roll it out I kind of go at the edge over here. This is a little bit of a trick. Just keep in mind this is how I do it in order to sort of get it into like 50% straight. Um, I roll it against the table and as I roll it out, I use the surface of the table in order to kind of get, get it as straight as possible. It'll never be 100% straight, obviously. It'll still be sort of like bent through. But what I, what I do is I open it out it gets the straight surface probably within about four foot intervals approximately I would say something like this is good and then I'll let it go and then what I'll do is I'll take a nice um, pipe cutter I like to use the rigid stuff I'm not endorsing their products but I just find that their stuff is pretty good quality but you can buy any kind of a um, you know tubing cutter um, it matters the more expensive ones are, are weighted. Um, they're a lot heavier, you know what I mean? When you're working with a heavier piece of, uh, of a tool, such as this one, you have a lot more control. It's a lot easier to sort of bend it. If it's something flimsy, you know, you don't have a lot of control. So, so invest in a pretty decent one. Like if you're just doing a one-off, maybe don't bother, buy a cheap one. But if you guys are doing a, a hard line setup, and uh, you guys are going to be doing it on a regular basis or even for business or anything like that, invest in a good one because good tools are the foundation of, uh, of a solid sort of, uh, you know, uh, um, trunk setup and, and, and operation. So, so I kind of put it out like that. I'm going to put it through, cut it. Uh, really simple to use a tubing cutter. Any plumbing video can help you out. But essentially, Spin it as you're spinning, tighten it up a little tiny bit, and then eventually you'll cut it through. But this is what I mean, right? You have the weightedness of the tubing cutter, really good solid blades, good quality of a tubing cutter, and it just glides. It literally grinds, right? Something cheap that swims you, moves around, will not give you a nice straight cut. So that's also very important. I'm a firm believer that good quality tools make a huge difference. Tighten it up, almost through. Bang. There's a semi kind of straight piece of sort of your, your, your tubing. This is approximately, I would say, maybe less than four feet, approximately four feet. You know what I mean? You guys can measure four feet or three feet, whatever you, whatever you like but it's not entirely perfect, right? So what do I do next? A tubing straightener. And there's tons of different types of tubing straighteners, but this sort of a roll type of a tubing straightener is my favorite. And straightening up this piece is as simple as just feeding it through. And as you're feeding through, this is gonna be a little bit harder, I guess. Uh, as you're feeding it through, as it goes through the rollers, you know, and this is of course um, not as hard of a material. This one is a, the soft aluminum tubing, so it bends a lot easier and nicer. If you're using the, the thicker style uh, of aluminum tubing, it's a lot harder. But essentially just putting it through like this, a 
couple times. And I think Fairview makes these uh, tubing uh, straighteners. That's all it takes. There's your straight. You know, a lot of guys and girls say, man, your lines are so straight. I try. Uh, they're not always perfect, but this is basically the trick to doing it. But uh, all hard lines come in spools, or, or they start out as a spool. You know what I mean? And uh, I think it's more cost effective if you guys take the spool and, and straighten it out and make your own straights. Um, whether it's with copper, whether it's uh, stainless steel, whether it's with aluminum, obviously stainless steel is a lot harder to work with because it's a more rigid material. But as I said, there's different types of um, aluminum brake lines. Some brake lines are super rigid, right? So um, it depends. So hopefully this helps you guys. Um, good part of your arsenal will obviously be a good tubing cutter, a tubing straightener. And now go out there, get some spools, brake line, and start bending some lines. Well, on the previous video, as you guys can see, about 90% of the video is my top, oh, my face cut off. I do apologize, but, you know, I'm the firm believer that I don't like to take multiple takes uh, when you're doing uh, YouTube videos. Everything that I try to do, I try to do real. So I'm probably not going to retake it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of a close-up of the tubing cutter so you guys have a better idea of how it looks like and uh, the tubing straightener because I kind of... Notice that with the previous video, it's a little bit far away. So uh, the next video will, get, will show you guys um, how they actually look like. So again, I like to give it to you guys raw. So I really don't want to edit the other uh, bit because there's a lot of really good information there and I, I hate repeating myself. So, um, but hopefully the next video helps you guys out. Right. All right, behold, a tubing cutter. It's pretty big and bulky, but it's good. Um, the only problem you run into, obviously, with a bigger tubing cutter is if you get into tight spaces and you have to, uh, and you have to uh, sort of get in and, uh, and bend the line. If you've made a really, really close bend and now you have to cut in order to put into a compressor or, uh, or a manifold, you're going to run into an issue by using these ones. But um, I pre-plan everything most of the time, so I never end up using or getting to those situations. And uh, there you go. So this happens to be a rigid one. Um, good quality stuff. There's a bunch of different brand names that you can buy, but uh, invest in a good quality uh, tubing cutter. And uh, the tubing uh, roller, basically, or straightener. Uh, this is a 3 8 one. Um, I bought this one used off of eBay years ago, and I've just kind of kept it for a while. Um, I'm not really sure who makes it, because it's not really labeled, to be honest with you guys. Um doesn't really have like a big sticker on it maybe somewhere or whatever i have to look to it but uh i think fairview makes these but uh, if you guys do your search online you'll probably be able to find a similar one so tubing straightener this is a 3 8 so you can buy a quarter i believe they come in different sizes and a tubing cutter and a spool of brake lines so this is pretty much it i hope you guys enjoy the videos that i make um i try to keep it real and uh, give you as much information as i can and um, I try to record as much as I can, especially now with winter. Um, but uh, I do appreciate the likes. I do appreciate you guys watching my videos and leaving comments. And uh, hopefully this helps you guys out and have a good one. All the best.